All right, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to discuss reading from secondaries as it pertains to performance in MongoDB. We'll discuss when it's a good idea and when it can be a bad idea. Before we talk about performance, let's first talk about read preference. When we read data from MongoDB, there is an associated read preference. By default, this is set to the primary node, meaning that by default, all reads will go to the primary member of a replica set. There are several other read preferences available to us, but discussing what each of these does and when you'd use them is out of scope for this lesson. For now, we're just going to discuss the read preferences that are relevant to performance. By default, the read preference is primary, meaning that all reads and writes will go to the primary node by default. If you change the read preference to secondary, then your reads will be routed to one of the secondaries. Writes, however, can only be routed to the primary node. When you set the read preference to secondary preferred, then your reads will always be routed to a secondary unless there aren't any available, in which case your reads will be routed to the primary. And finally, we have nearest, which will read from the member which has the lowest network latency. The driver determines this member by measuring network lag from the heartbeat message. Now, it's super important to understand that whenever we read data from a secondary node, there is a possibility that we're reading stale data. Since all write operations come into the primary, when we also read from the primary, we can be guaranteed to read the latest copy of the data. This is called strong consistency. On the other hand, when we read from a secondary node, we're not guaranteed to be reading from the most up-to-date version of the data. This is because data is asynchronously replicated to the secondaries, as writes are still occurring on the primary. This is called eventual consistency. So any time that the read preference isn't set to primary, which is the default, we need to make sure that our application or client is OK with reading stale data. All right, so now that we have an understanding of how we can change the way that we read our data, let's discuss when it's a good idea to do so. The two most common performance scenarios for reading from secondaries is when performing an analytics query and when doing local reads. So a great example of offloading work on the secondaries is an analytics or reporting job that needs to be run against our data. And this is a great example because the queries required to do analytics are generally resource intensive and long running. They have a much different memory footprint than the queries associated with our operational workload. We don't want to execute these queries on the primary because the reads and writes that our application is making would be affected. So when we use this setup, we get the best of both worlds. Our application continues to read the most up-to-date information, just like it always has. And we're able to run our long-running and resource-intensive queries made by our analytics job without interfering with the primary's ability to handle reads and frequent writes. Now, I want to point out that this is possible because our analytics job is OK with reading stale data. This is typically true for batch operations since they don't expect to be run on the latest copy. Another good use case for reading from secondaries is for local reads in geographically distributed replica sets. In this case, we have two application servers, where one is dedicated to the west coast of the United States and the other is dedicated to the east coast. In this hypothetical scenario, one of the members is located on one coast, while the remaining two members reside on the other. This setup is favorable when application clients need to have low latency but are OK with reading stale data. So we've discussed the two most common best practice use cases for reading from secondaries. Now let's discuss a bad reason to read from secondaries, which is providing extra capacity for our application to read. Some people have the false notion that if their primary is overworked by writes, that they can offload their reads to a secondary node. This is not the case, because as writes come into the primary, they are replicated to the secondaries. This means that all members of a replica set have roughly the same amount of write traffic. On the other hand, if your primary is overworked with reads and you're OK with reading stale data, you're fine to read from secondaries. All right, so just to recap, we've discussed some of the read preferences that are associated with performance, when it's a good idea to read from secondaries, such as analytics queries and local reads, and when it's a bad idea, such as trying to provide extra write throughput.